We have a question from Scott. Scott's a big kid. He says, I'm a 30 year old male, six foot five and about 240 pounds, 110 kilos, and played college basketball for five years. I now play more recreationally, but my passion is really vertical jump. I started, uh, I recently started Easy Strength and I'm loving it, but was wondering what are your thoughts on vertical jump training would be? Well, the downside of training the vertical jump. Uh, is that, uh, well, that, there is no downside, but uh, from talking with Stu McGill, he pointed out the importance of ankle stiffness for a good vertical jump. And he talked about how, you know, you, you need to have a certain physique for an outstanding vertical jump. And uh, the, the, the conversation gets much deeper. Uh, I bought that volleyball magazine years ago that had increase your vertical jump, and I bought it because it said increase your vertical jump, and I want to see what they did. Uh, when I read over the article and I looked what they were recommending, uh, I didn't see anything except 20 at the time, probably 20 or 30 year old bad advice in plyometrics and weightlifting. Um, and now that article is probably more like 30 or 50 years old. Um, but this idea of doing things like plyometrics and all kinds of jumping exercise in the weight room, uh, the best jumpers in the world don't do them. The best jumpers jump. Uh, jumpers jump. You know, runners run, throwers throw. Um, for your vertical jump, uh, I'd like to know what your baseline is. I'd like to know where you are. Uh, from what I've seen, um, you know, I don't know what your body mass is, but if you're 240 and you're 3% uh, body fat, then that's one conversation. If you're 240 and you're 25% uh, body fat, that's another conversation. Uh, I think the easiest way to in increase vertical jump is to lean out. Uh, certainly having, you know, you know, if, if you talk to Stu, the tight, the tight um, ankle, uh, the stiff, the stiff hamstring helps a lot too, he told me. Uh, those are things he's noted over and over. So you're going to find yourself in a, in, in a strange uh, world when you, you try to improve your vertical jump. My best advice is first deal with your lean body mass, you know, more lean body mass, less fat, which is, of course, the holy grail of what I do. Uh, from there, you got to jump. You got to jump a lot. Uh, you're in a sport that emphasizes it. Uh, every time you do a layup, I would try to hang a little bit longer up there. Um, can we improve the vertical jump in the weight room? Sure. I mean, there's some exercises I think would carry over well. Rack deadlift, Romanian deadlift, the Olympic lifts. Uh, anything that involves that that explosive hinge would help. Uh, if you do have that other kind of body type, the more quad kind of jumper, uh, what uh, Stu told me was the uh, more the Eastern European style, then maybe you would get a lot of squats from squats and front squats. Um, so it's going to be an experiment of one. So I would say, let's do this. First, get me a base. How, what's your vertical jump today? What's your lean body mass at? And then let's talk from there. So let me know. And let's get started.